Namaste everyone. In today's video, we are going to see how the delay operator works in Rx Java. I have an observable here. Now, if I run this program, it will immediately print all the numbers 1 to 5. But what if we want to start the emission after a specific period of time? If you are watching all of my videos, you might be thinking that we can use observable.interval for that. Why I am talking about delay then? If you haven't watched the video of our observable.interval, you can do so from the card or the description of this video. So before I tell you the difference between delay and interval, let's use the delay operator and run our program. So chain dot delay with a 3000 milliseconds of time, which is almost 3 seconds. As delay operator works on a different scheduler, you can think of this as that it does not block the main thread when the emissions are being delayed. We will talk about scheduling and trading in details in future videos. So add a sleep for say 5000 milliseconds. So we can see all the emissions before the program terminates. Now let's run. And if you were attentive, you may have seen that there was a delay of 3 seconds before the emission starts. I highly recommend you to get the source code from the link below and run to see this in action. Now let me tell you how it is different from the interval. Interval actually adds a specific delay before emitting each item. But delay actually adds a specific delay before starting the emission. Let me tell you once again. Interval adds the delay before each item emission but delay operator adds a delay before the emission starts. Once the emission starts, there is no delay. That's why you can see that the numbers immediately appear on screen after 3 seconds. Quite interesting, right? But here's the catch. Delay by default works with this item emissions. If there is an error, it immediately passed on to the error block. So what if we want to delay the error? Delay operator got you covered for that too. So let's see this in action. Here is an observable which emits an only error. So let's change the delay operator like before and then pass 3 second. And here you can see that it takes a boolean called delay error which is by default false. Let's pass true here. So it will add a delay of 3 seconds before emitting any error. Let's run. And there we go. We can see that it waits for 3 seconds before emitting the error. Alright, I hope you found today's video interesting and if you have any doubt about the delay operator, please comment below or message me on any of my social handles. And if you liked this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell icon so that you don't miss the video that we upload every Sunday. So it's me to here signing off. Thank you for stopping by. See you next Sunday.